Oh wow, this game's finally out. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Axel and I'm playing Elden Ring on the PS5. I'm a little delirious actually thinking like, wow, I'm actually going to attempt this game, a From Software game. So the last one I played was Dark Souls 1 and I really sucked at that. So I never finished it and I never picked up any other From Software game before or after that, I mean. And yeah, I'm just really confused on why I'm back here. You know, you know what? I'm back because I never remembered Elden Ring from what I read, it is a big RPG free roam game now. They have a really big map that you can explore optionally while having some bosses you still have to fight. There are also side bosses that you don't have to fight, but only if you want like loot, XP, you know, just stuff like that, like a normal RPG. So I want to try out this game because they give you a lot of freedom. And even though it's the same difficulty from their older games, you can make it harder on yourself or make it easier on yourself. So that's how it works. And I wanted to try it out just because of that. So, without further ado, let's start. All right, so this is where we pick our classes. Uh, I gotta be honest, I forgot that this was even a thing. This many classes, what do I choose from? There's Wretch, Confessor, Prisoner, Samurai, Prophet, Astrologer, Bandit, Hero, Warrior, and Vagabond. Vagabond? Is that how you say it? Honestly, I don't know what to choose from. Uh, it's an RPG, so you basically pick whatever you want and build off from that. If I gotta be honest, Samurai looks kinda cool. I like Samurai. Confessor looks cool. Wretch has nothing. Prophet, Astrologer, Bandit, Hero, Warrior. Uh, let's go with Vagabond, because that's like the basic... That's sort of like the basic look, right? Choose a body type, A or B. Oh, female or male. Let's go with male. A. Name, not entered. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, I guess Axel, right? Hello. It's me. I'm Axel. Body type A, age young, mature aged. Age only affects appearance, has no bearing on ability. Well, that's good to know. I'll just be young. I'll be young. Origin, Vagabond. Oh, if you change your mind, you can change right here. Keepsake. What are keepsakes? A medallion inhaled, inlaid with Crimson Amber, increases maximum HP. Oh, so you can start with a little bit of a boost. Boost physical damage negation. That sounds useful. A crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out. Attract enemies aggression. Oh, that's for someone that wants a challenge. Increase maximum HP. That sounds good. Pretty basic, too. Because I have no idea what any of this other stuff means. Do they all bring with some sort of perk, or only some of them? Said to reinforce sacred flask. Golden seed, so... That means I get to heal myself. The flask are what you heal yourself with, right? I think I remember that word from Dark Souls. I don't even know if this means the same thing. Let's just go with the maximum HP, because it's pretty basic. Again, I'm pretty new- oh. I'm pretty new, so... I'd rather go with a basic. You know, something I understand. Choose base template. Oh wow, so they give you like a set of stuff to pick off from. I'll just stick with warrior. And you know what? True Seeker looks kind of cool. You know, the hairless thing. Warrior. Detailed appearance. Age young. Voice. Young voice one. Really not much of a sample. Just grunting. Well, I don't think you have any lines in this game anyways. 
It's just a lot of grunting, because that's the only sound you make when you get hit. And you die. Is there any, like, dying sound effects? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's go with the voice, too. I like it a little deeper. Alter skin color. Oh, wow. That went completely dark. Now, this is, um, not dark. Not as dark. Let's adjust it. I mean, that sort of looks like my skin. I'm looking at my arm right now, trying to match the skin. But it's really hard to tell, because... I don't know, this monitor might be showing like a different color setting. Than what the recording is showing. I feel like this is pretty similar. Can't tell exactly for sure 100%, but it's as close as I can get it to be. Barely a difference. That's oh, a little darker. It's a little darker. Alter face and hair. Now see, you can be very specific with the customization, and I was afraid of this because... Well, not afraid, but I'm just not going to do it. You know, because it's a lot to go through. And I was never really good at these kind of customizations, being super specific. It's kind of like being an artist, you know? If you're like some sort of like 3D sculpture artist, this is your kind of thing. Whenever I play games with these kind of customizations, I just don't do it. Alter body. I can alter my body. That's easy. Head. Oh my god. So all these are just like cosmetic. I don't think it's gonna... Gonna change anything like with their skills or abilities. That looks kind of funny. What about a big chest? Oh wow. Oh, I like how it like changes the, the abdomen and the arms too to match with it, sort of, like a little bit. Wait, what if everything was big? How would that look? That's barely noticeable. Sparse, abundant. Okay, so this is what a completely large body looks like. Honestly? It's not as dramatic as I thought it was going to look like. I want to say the head was bigger, but it's hard to tell now because everything was so huge, but now it's smaller. You know what? I'm not going to spend too much time. My whole body's going to be covered in armor anyway, so... Going to leave like that. God, it looks weird. I'm so sorry what I did to you. Yeah, look at that. Good as new. Alright, let's start. Starting in with his character, is that okay? Yes. Yes. 
soon. Maricus offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Othmere, the all knowing. Alright, here I am. That first cutscene was pretty cool. Love the visuals. Huh. First off, are you ready? I... I hope I am. Are you ready? What are you, Spongebob? Oh, someone started up with a samurai, looks like. So these are other players. Right? Are you ready? Who is keep saying are you ready? Tarnished wizened finger. Though the path may be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Wait, I just remembered, the creator of Game of Thrones have some sort of hand in the writing or in the design of the, some of the characters and bosses, right? I didn't read Game of Thrones. I didn't watch Game of Thrones. But it's a pretty cool fact. Okay. Read message. If only I had an Elden Ring. So, this game is all about exploring, right? Because it's supposed to be a big open world. Nothing like the other Souls-like game they made before. Because in Dark Souls 1 through 3, it was pretty linear with a bit of exploration. Ah, bliss. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. I don't know why.
First off, gesturing. Good, poor. What does that mean? Good? Apply this message. Sure. Rated good. Liar ahead. No hidden path ahead, therefore praise the message. Oh wow, it's got over 9,999 appraisals. Appraisals. It's already got the limit, that's funny. Anything secret back here? Try jumping. No, thank you. I'm fine. Are you ready? You know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I don't want to spend too much time looking at every message. Maybe just here and there. But someone died here. Oh, they jumped off. Okay. Are there any enemies? Anything to fight at all? Nothing? I guess there's nothing. Fingers butthole. So nothing to fight. Guess I was wrong. All right, this is pretty standard for a Souls game. They put a boss at the beginning, and I'm pretty sure you're able to defeat him if you're skilled enough. I don't know if they actually do let you defeat it, though. In some games, they probably do. I'm not sure in all of them. Oh, that pitched me. What does that mean? He's screaming. Oh lord, he's coming. Oh, he got me. Oh, what happened? Went black. What's that sound? Okay, so he tossed my dead body in water. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. even if it does violate the Golden Order.
Here I am, back alive. Because that's how it works. New Flask of Crimson Tears. Whoopee. Flask of Cerulean. Hold on. Flask of Cerulean. Cerulean Tears. Hopefully I said that right. What's this? Talk. I thought there could be a voice, but apparently not. Should have read that. Visions of Giant. So I wonder how long it's going to take to get to the open world. Because in some games, they usually want you to go through some sort of tutorial, and then they give you the whole thing. In other games, they just give it to you. Can't go in there. Touch Grace. Lost Grace discovered. Lovable sort. Use Stone Sword Key. Do I have one? Map menu. With the map menu, you can check your current position in terrain and buildings and surrounding area. Also, freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. There are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Alright. Where's my inventory? With the inventory menu, you can browse the items you're carrying, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. You can also use tools from the inventory menu. Show large image and explanation, toggle character data. Now, I don't have any keys, so it's still asking me if I want to use one. No key in the inventory. Exactly what I expected. Cooperative multiplayer. No, thank you. I want to do this solo. For the best of my abilities. Visions of the treasure chest. Has zero appraisals. Weak foe. Weak foe is in weak enemy up ahead. Hidden path ahead, by the way, praise a message. Hidden path ahead. Ahead where? No secret ahead, but praise a message. I see, I don't know who to believe. Whoa. Just gotta stand here. It's only an elevator. Not gonna hurt me. Let there be hidden path and then praise the treasure chest. Is there actually anything in, in the pots? Lime grave. Is this it? Is this the open world already? I guess so. I mean, I haven't discovered anything, but it looks like this is it. Stranded graveyard.
Be wary of Elden Ring. Okay. Gonna touch some grace. Guidance of grace. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. So is that saying that that will lead me the way I'm supposed to go? Because it's open world, so I can get I can get easily lost. The map. Use your map to check your current position and as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. I already read that. Yeah, I already read all this. between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Okay, good luck with you too. Happy trails. Friend. Summoning pools. Each area may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. Summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. For co-op. No, thank you. That should be fine. Wow. That is a big horse. Materials. In every corner of the lands between, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. What can I craft with these stuff? Can I sneak attack it? Alright, I forgot that's auto locking. I can lock with that button. Yo, let's fight it. Ooh, up the booty hole! Oh god damn. Oh god damn. Oh that's it. Oh my god. Just two hits. That's all it takes. Yeah, I'm not mad. I'm not mad about that cuz I'm right here. Death. Upon dying you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. You will drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, they will be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes. Did I have any? I don't think so. I just started the game. Unless maybe I started out with like a rune. Maybe once created my character. I mean, there is something on my screen that I can find. Maybe that's it. Oh my god. I just started. Okay, you know what? This might take a little while. It might take a tiny bit of while, and I don't want to show all of my attempts in every video of Elden Ring, because it's going to make it way too long. So I might show, like, maybe two, three attempts. But after that, I might have to just cut it and then show... If I ever, ever, if I ever eventually beat it. Okay. 
Okay, that's it. That's it. I'll, I'll come back later, another time. Okay, so where to next? Where should I go? I know back there in that grace, it was sort of pointing me the way, but I'm not sure where. I mean, to be frank, it's not a big area to start off with, so it'll probably be easy to find out where to go next. What are those things? Here we go. What's over here? That looks special. It's some sort of church. Golden Rune, too. Yay. Church of LA. Enemy ahead. Lost Grace discovered. Fast travel to Sites of Grace. Through your map, you can instantly travel to any sites of grace that you've discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where they cannot be done. Hey, man. Talk to me. You're tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly. Purveyor of fine goods. You kind of look like Santa Claus. Purchase, sell, about kale. Recommendation. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom accounts, after all. Right. Nice recommendation. How much it cost? Shop menu. With the shop menu, you can spend runes to purchase various items. You can also sell items for runes. Each merchant stocks a different variety of items for purchase. Whoa. Oh, I thought it was a broom. I thought that was a broom. That was a torch. I was going to say, a broom for a weapon, that's sick. Crafting kit. Enables the practice of item crafting. It costs 300, how much do I have? Zero. Oh wow, okay. That's embarrassing. Can I sell anything? Rune fragment. Material used for crafting. Used to gain a small number of runes. Oh, well, hold on. So can I use that right now? Yeah, hold on, give me a sec. Gonna go look at my inventory real quick. Use. There, go 400. What is it? Purchase. Enables the practice of item crafting. Was that worth it? I don't know. We're gonna find out. You took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. If you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from materials that you find. Select item crafting from the main menu to make items. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. Containers. You will need cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Con container items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain. Cool. Item crafting. Okay, with the item crafting menu, you can make various items. Learn to craft by finding cookbooks. You already just told me. You literally just told me this. Uh, what can I make with raisin? Make how many? Okay. I did something, I think. Man, I really don't know what I'm doing here. Bone dart. Throw at enemies to inflict damage. 
Oh, from a distance. Cool. Might have to save for that one. Strengthening armaments. As a, at the smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Smithing stone. Okay. Can I do anything now? You can strengthen your armaments up to 3 plus at a smithing table. Uh, lands between, you may find a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Okay. Oh, wow. It costs 250. Man, I really could have used those runes that I spent on the crafting kit. Well, bye. What is that pointing at? That way. Oh, I can see from the map. It's pointing this way. Over this thing here? Is that what I was looking at? I can surely check and see. There's got to be another campfire somewhere. Oh, watch this. Hold on. I think I remember a trick from Dark Souls that I can use here. Got him! Well, I got 174 runes already. That fast. Turtles? Turtle neck meat. What the? Okay, it's a... Uh, it's a dragonfly. Does it want to fight me, or what? Great dragonfly head. What am I going to use the head for? Am I going to sell it? What are you? Oh, they're like poison sacks. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with those. I'm gonna leave it alone. Just gonna go towards my waypoint, and see where it leads me to the next little campfire thing. Got you. Erdly flower. Root resin. Is that it over there? I can see a little glint of light. That might be it. What's over here? That's an enemy. Oh, I think it's a village full of them. Here, before I take on the village, let me go save over here in this bonfire. I, I know you don't call it bonfire, I already forgot the name. Touch Grace, Lost Grace. That's what it was. Lost Grace discovered.
I see people with horses running around here. How do you get a horse? I want one. It'll make things even with the first boss. Back there with the golden armor. Behold, ahead. What, this? Open. Pick up item. A Lord Sworn Scrape Sword. A great sword. Equipment. Whoa, equipment menu. With equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, talismans, and items. Pretty self explanatory. Unable to use this item effectively with pers with present attributes unless wielded with both hands. Oh, so without my shield? So like this? Both hands? That's one hand. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. You want to be my maiden? Accept or refuse? I mean, it's a free offer, and she says she'll help me out, so... How can I pass it up? Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle. Steed? Oh, that's a horse, right? Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Can I level up? When I turn your runes to strength, let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts. Let's see, with a level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. With each attribute increased, your level rises by one. As your level rises, so does the amount of runes required for your next attribute increase. Hmm. Okay. Sword chest. 
With this menu, you can place items that you're carrying into the chest for storage or take stored items out of the chest. If you're already carrying the maximum number of items when you pick up a new item, it'll be stored in the chest automatically. Convenience, I like it. Oh, give me a sec. <clears throat> Horseback riding. Use the spectral steed whistle to summon and ride your spectral steed. If your spectral steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one flask of crimson tears to do so. Wow, really? That's very expensive. You can dismount by using the whistle again or by pressing L3. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Pouches. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. What's the what? What's the button for the steed again? I forgot it. There we go. Inventory use. Nice, got it. During mounted jump, double jump. Whoa, oh, that's dope. Finally. I'm on par with that one boss. Let's go fight it. No, don't go. Oh, no. Oh, God damn. God damn it. Okay, I am ready for you. No, I'm not. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Why was that attack a lot more strong than before? Oh god, it died, it died.
<laughs> oh god. <coughs> here we go, here we go. Alright, last try. Let's go. Let's do it, bitch. You and me. What is that move? A shield? Oh, man. That sucks. Oh, that is a big chunk of damage. Went right underneath you. Oh, God damn it. Oh no! Get me! Get me! Here we go. Home stretch. Oh no. You're good. You're good. Walk it off. You're good, you're good, walk it off. I 
I got you. Oh my god. Golden Hellbird. Halbird? Hellbird? I did that. I'm pointing myself. I did that. So I got a new weapon. Yay for me. Let's look at it. Definitely, I'm not gonna be. I'm probably not able to actually use it. Physical, 134. How much do I have? How much do I have? Status. Okay. What's my physical? I don't see it. Equip load. Oh, 48.1. Is that what it is? I feel very victorious. So I'm going to end right there. Hope you enjoy watching me suck and swallow. I will continue in the next one, hopefully. See you then. Bye.